Uh, in discussing this, we really wanted this to be more of a core, co more of a conversation because I think there's a lot of open questions about where we're going with search in Drupal core. Uh, this is really just about Drupal core, not about um, contributed modules. We're going to have a boff relating to GeoSearch and Apache Solar afterwards, and therefore, if you see me running at five o'clock down the street, that's wh where I'm headed. Um, so, uh, change the title on this. Um, Rather than focusing um, on sort of adding to core, I thought it would be useful to pose the question, you know, what's useful currently in Drupal core search, what's missing, um, and what's excessive that we could get rid of um, and make uh, core simpler. So, and to frame the problem, um, thanks, this is basically Chris's framing, that uh, when users come to your site, what they expect is something like the Google experience. Um, Right, so they're expecting an or search. Uh, you know, the page you come up first has the most keywords matching. Um, they expect something like a stemming or a little bit fuzzy match, so uh, they don't have to type the exact word. Uh, they expect some kind of spell correction or suggestion for spelling. Um, expect keyword highlighting, and they expect that every page on the site is going to be indexed, at least if it's publicly accessible. Um, so Drupal Core misses out on quite a number of these things right now. Um, just almost all of them in core. <laughs> Maybe number two, the most relevant page, you know, has the most keywords. That's about it, right? So there's a lot, you know, Drupal, you know, and just, yeah, and, and we have highlightings, keyword highlighting, uh, highlighting that usually works. So not always, but it's there. So we're missing out on a lot of this. So I think, you know, users coming to use a Drupal site, run the site search, um, it doesn't work the way they expect, and you know that's going to lead to some dissatisfaction to feeling like Drupal doesn't have a good search, even if the algorithms behind the scenes um, are doing a good job. Um, there's also, you know, if we go beyond the Google experience, we think about a, a more rich site, like an e-commerce site or something uh, like Amazon.com, and this not only has that keyword search box, but it has a lot more uh, features that help you find what you're looking for. Um, so one of these um, that Chris is very interested in, uh, and he can grab the mic if he wants to talk about it, is progressive disclosure of facets. So this is if, as I start to drill down, new facets become relevant. So they might not have been relevant when I'm searching the whole site. Um, you know, but once I've gotten into the particular you know, general category of widget, maybe I want a facet block about colors. Now, I didn't want colors, all possible colors for all products on the site. I only wanted the colors, you know, the 10 colors available for, you know, men's t-shirts with the Drupal logo on them, right? So that's all I want to see. So we, we have to know when it's, we have to sort of intelligently figure out when, uh, you know, those sites are able to intelligently know when to show you new facets that are relevant to your search. Um, they have uh, better widgets for facets that maybe make the navigation a little more intuitive. Um, they have more, you know, ways to target the searches. So if you think about Amazon, you can search within a department like books. So, you know, if I search um, for Drupal, Drupalcon, I want, you know, a book about, you know, the history of Drupalcon. I don't want Drupalcon socks because that would be a different department. And I know I don't want socks, I want a book. Um, you know, obviously they have good keyword matching, you know, this follows sort of from the Google experience and builds on top of it. Um, and we have some kind of, you know, similarity or, you know, recommendations uh, is often part of the site. So if we think about a really great search experience, uh, we not only have the Google experience of great keyword matching, but we'd have all these things built on top of it. Um, and so clearly we're going beyond Drupal core here. Um, but for Drupal 7, you know, there's really not a coherent way yet in Contrib, I would say, to achieve uh, these goals to sort of match the Amazon experience. Um, then we have another problem. <laughs> How do we maintain even Drupal core, the keyword search? Um, you know, so right now I think it's fair to say that no one is actively maintaining the core search module in Drupal, certainly in Drupal 8, Drupal 7, Drupal 6. Um, yeah, there's a lot of open issues, and, and I think this is true for a lot of areas of core. I'm not, I mean, this is a general broad problem. Um, 
So, you know, things that I'm listed as a maintainer of in Drupal core, like I don't have time to look at the issues queues. Um, and for specific to those things. Um, and, you know, but it's a problem even that there are patches, you know, that are ready to go and are not getting reviewed. Um, and there's also, in core search, it has functionality that's not used very often. So, um, how many people here regularly use the advanced node search? Yeah. <laughs> how many people here use Boolean searches, like actually typing and and or? All right, we got one. <laughs> nice. um, so, you know, those are things, you know, they're nice to have, but really do we, you know, is that important to ship in Drupal core? Um, there's also, I think, a problem in sort of the way core search is set up is the boundary between what search module is doing and what the node module's implementation of search is doing are a little fuzzy, and some of the stuff in the core search module seems to be catering very much to the node module implementation. Um, and I, you know, that's sort of an architectural problem that we might want to deal with and try to make a, sep a cleaner separation. So, um, you know, Drupal, we know, has the capability to have a good site, um, a good site search. And, you know, the challenge for us is really to make the out of the experience, you know, the Drupal experience either out of the box or with contrib modules better than at least the Google site search. Right, so uh, there are problems um, with something like a site's Google site search. So why, you know, why not just tell everyone, you know what, Drupal doesn't come with search anymore. You know, Google will take your money, index your site with a custom site search, and you know, we're done. We have no more maintenance problems. So you know, what are the problems with, with Google site search? You know, what can we do better? Um, if you have a crawler, you get everything on a page. So you get you know, the sidebars, the header, the footer. You know, if there's a certain word that appears on every page of the site, well, that's going to tend to come up in every search result if you look for that word, right? Um, Google doesn't know how to exclude certain content. So you may have certain node types that shouldn't be in your search index at all, but through whatever way, if it's uh, crawlable, it's going to show up in the search index. So an example might be um, if you have some kind of composite pages composed of multiple nodes, you don't necessarily want each individual node showing up in search results. Um, Google can't facet on internal metadata. Uh, like things like author name, maybe it could figure out, but you know, there's a lot of internal uh, structure and data about the node that we can use to create those intelligent facets. Um, and Google clearly can't uh, provide your authenticated users you know, access to private content and search results. So you have to be within the Drupal user system, the Drupal authentication system, um, in order to do that, and clearly for a lot of sites, searching private content is a key feature. So we can't, we don't want to abandon um, a built-in search solution. Uh, yeah, these are some of the limitations um, that something like Google has that, that Drupal can do better. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna make Chris talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, just a, a dirty secret, I shared a book with Peter last night, and then he, he stole this quote from the book. So, <laughs> uh, um, so uh, you know, I, I think right now what we do in, in Drupal search is, you know, we don't really focus on best practices. Uh, we don't focus on what other people are doing, um, and there's a lot of good examples. Um, I, I think a lot of times what happens is that core search kind of gets in the way. Um, so what we end up having is we have uh, sub-projects, right? So we have a search API, we have, uh, uh, you know, core search, people that still use core search. We have Apache Solar, um, you know, for Drupal 6, we had uh, search we've seen API. So these are different ways to at attack this problem. Um, and, you know, I, I think the, the big thing is how can we make big best practices easy? There's a lot of patterns out there. Um, and I, I think, you know, the, the big argument here is does, does Drupal core search need to be everything to everybody, right? Um, or does it need to be handled in contrib? Because uh, Jennifer, I'll, I'll put you on the spot here, but if you can describe, if you can say one word to describe the um, the patch committal process in search, what would you use? Now keep it clean. No. Yeah. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I think the, the, the big thing here is how can we enable contrib uh, modules to start to, to work together and uh, to make sure that that search doesn't get out of the way uh, and to make sure that the core search module is able to get out of the way gracefully. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think there's, there's areas where we say, okay, you know, how, how do you tune search weightings for optimum relevance, right? Um, would it be nice for, for core to understand this? Yes. Um, would, it, would it be essential for Drupal core to do all this functionality? No. Um, but it should, should it provide a way for people to do it? Yes. And then leave that out and contrib so that we, we can bypass this, this non-existent uh, patch queue process which, which we have. Um, and you know, the, the end result is how do you find the user, how do you help the user find the desired results um, instead of just ones matching the keywords, right? Um, there's a lot of different ways to attack this problem. Um, I, I think that if we're going to focus big efforts on core, um, it's going to be really tough to get in. Um, you know, just an example, um, sorry to pick on you again, Jennifer, but uh, Jennifer had a great patch which ended up uh, fixing the, the highlighting for word stemming. And that's been sitting in the queue for a very long time. Um, two, years. two years, that's it? Nice, nice. Um, so anyways, you know, if, if we can allow core search to kind of get out of the way and allow that type of con contribution to happen in, uh, in, in contrib, um, then that would, that would really help, uh, you know, move things along and get us to where we want to go. Do you want me to keep going? Sure. All right. <laughs> um, you know, I, th I think so, so my big thing is, you know, Drupal search ends up becoming, I want it to be a selling point, right? I want, I want people to say, Drupal search is a differentiator um, when we're talking about Drupal over other CMSs. Um, so, you know, there's, there are some things that we have to focus on. Um, so, you know, basic keyword search has to conform to expectations. People have expectations going in. Um, it just needs to be very simple. You know, I, I think for the majority of users, you don't have to get really complex. Uh, we have a lot of complex logic and core that could, you know, be stripped out and be handled elsewhere. Um, it also has to be customizable, right? The, the user interface, I think, is the most important part um, because there's a lot of work going on in the back end, which is great and, and very necessary, um, but users are really focused on the front end, and that's what they see. That's the search experience they have. Um, so again, if we can move that out of contrib and have some pretty, to contrib and have some pretty interesting things going on, then that, that kind of facilitates uh, moving Drupal search forward. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we need to, we need to make sure that, um, we have the, the documentation, the tutorials available um, so that, you know, they can, uh, uh, people can learn how to use this stuff, um, you know, and, and that happens really by working together. Um, so, you know, I think we're starting to see some collaboration. Um, so we're starting to see, okay, what, what are the areas of these big soft, uh, these big projects that, that we can actually pull together and start working on together so that it works across all projects. Um, and when that happens, you know, we start, we stop writing one-off solutions and we start writing stuff that's reusable, um, which will facilitate, you know, uh, uh, more contributions in terms of how to use this stuff. Um, it'll be familiar across the sites, and in that case, you know, Drupal really becomes a selling point. Um, and, you know, I, I think um, in terms of the, uh, uh, the custom UI, you know, that's, that's another part. You know, once you're theming stuff, that has to be ported to. Um, because I think it's really important when we're talking about search experience, if we can start to work together to figure out a way how to, you know, maybe core search, maybe this is an area for core search to improve, where core search provides templates that can actually be reused in a meaningful way by site builders. Core search templates are okay right now, um, but people still run into issues, which is why they, they move off to other solutions. Um, so, you know, that might be an area in core where we could, you know, work together and, and figure out a way how we can make that useful uh, to all the various projects. Well, so just picking up on what Chris is saying, so there's a couple things. So, uh, as you said, theme templates, um, you know, that's one area. Maybe core could be improved, and that would help uh, carry over people, um, make it easier, you know, if everyone can rely just on the core templates for theming their search results rather than um, having customized. Um, but we need to make sure, again, that Drupal core sort of out of the box comes close enough to the Google experience. Um, there are definitely some problems. Um, so we just mentioned a stemming patch. But in general, uh, there's problems with language awareness in search. Uh, we need to figure out better how to detect, you know, detect language when we're searching, know what language content is in when it's indexed, uh, know how to match across languages. I mean, those are hard problems. I'm not sure we can solve them in core. But we need to at least provide enough information 
um, to the search backend um, that if it, if it can do a, good, a better job on this than Core, it, it, it does. Um, I think also one place that Drupal Core right now really falls down and is probably not that hard to solve is that Drupal Core only lets you have basically one search tab per module. Um, and that's, you know, we're finding that that's not really what people want. People often want to customize a search. They want to have a search for a specific section, you know, search within organic groups, search within something else. Um, so you might want to have several uh, somewhat distinct search pages or, for example, on Drupal.org, we have a search within modules. Uh, so why is it that, you know, project module has to basically reinvent a lot of the, um, I mean, in there they're customizing the, the result template a lot, but yeah, you could imagine some use cases like that where you don't necessarily need tons of customization of the search results, but you need to pre-filter. Uh, you want to have, you know, your module provide both a site-wide search and a, you know, sectional search within a given section of the site. Um, search module should facilitate that rather than right now it just kind of uh, prevents it uh, or you have to work around it. Um, and what do we, we had half an hour? You have an hour for all the search stuff. Right, an hour for all the search stuff. We won't have time for discussion, so anyway. It's supposed to be half hour, half hour. Half hour, yeah. Right. Um, so, you know, one of the things I think we have to be aware of in core search, if it's going to still be useful, is that it has to have enough hooks, you know, available. Um, the contrib modules can participate in the indexing process, the search process. <laughs> or um, maybe allow contrib modules to more readily bypass the parts of core search that, that they don't need. Um, so in, in terms of the user interface, um, so Chris has done a lot of work and I did, have done a little work around the edges of the Facet API module. And, and I think- Thomas has done work too. And yeah, so Thomas has now done work. Um, and in Chicago, we kind of got up and talked about, uh, you know, the notion of making a bigger toolkit for Drupal core search, which might include something like Facet API. And I think this is sort of one of the things I want to have discussion about, is given, given where we are with maintaining Drupal core search, um, do we want to actually add any features, really, into core at this point? Or are we better off actually stripping out as much as we can, you know, leaving a, a functional keyword search in Drupal core and really not much else? and uh, pursuing all the rest in contrib, is, is that a better strategy? Um, uh, if we think that something like this should be in Drupal core, what is the timing, right? So we, we kind of would need to know that it's mature enough as an API, you know, that we've hit the edge cases, that we understand, you know, we're not going to suddenly hit, you know, this whole area of things we can't do in Drupal 8 after we put it into core and, you know, we've frozen the API. Um, so I think that's a sort of a timing, you know, if we decide we really want it in core, when, when would be the time? How do we know that it's, you know, mature enough? Um, and is there demand? You know, are there enough, you know, do the majority of sites want faceted search? Or do really, you know, the majority of sites want just a keyword search and more specialized sites are the ones that need faceted search? And therefore, you know, depending on our answer to that question, might influence whether we think we need this um, in core. Um, and one might argue that adding something like um, Facet API to core in some form would be a trade-off that you would, you would you know, offer the community, essentially, for you know, like removing features like the advanced search form. Now, some people use that, you know, but it, you know, once you've taken that feature out, it would be better to say, well, we took that out and we replaced it with Facet API. Even if Facet API doesn't give you that same form, if it at least gave you the facility to apply, you know, to build a form that applied filters, if at least you had that ability in core, you could see it as a trade-off rather than losing, just losing features from core. Um, that we, you know, so that's again a discussion point. Is that, is that make? sense to people as a trade-off, or is it simply that we should say, you know, let's take everything out of core that is not, you know, the 90% use case, um, in which case we just, just remove it without a replacement. Um, you know, and, find, and sort of, you know, building on that further, a big challenge clearly we're facing is how do we maintain uh, searching core effectively, 
if we add, especially if we add new features to it, how do we maintain it? Um, and what's the best way for us as a community of people interested in this functionality um, to build a good contributed modules in a way that they interact um, so that we're not, uh, you know, all reinventing the wheel? Um, yeah, for Drupal core, I think this is sort of, you know, this is the problem in a way. And unfortunately, I'm going to run out to a boff, but at five o'clock, <laughs> um, Randy and uh, other people will be talking more about, you know, maintenance for Drupal core, you know, how do we maintain Drupal core? How do we um, deal with new projects? How do we uh, deal with the issue queues? Um, but, you know, so the thing I'm throwing out there for discussion is if we remove features, um, we reduce the amount of code in core, does that make it easier to maintain? Does that make it easier to fix the bugs? Does that make it easier to test? And is that therefore the thing that we should be aiming for in core? Um, and also does it allow you to make it reusable um, so that other people, other projects can use it? Um, and then, you know, sort of a, another thought in terms of the broader search space is who, you know, who's benefiting from a good search solution? And how do we, you know, sort of make whatever organizations, individuals, companies are, you know, using search, benefiting from a good search experience, how do we get them to reinvest, again, in a sort of a coherent way that we build, a, you know, a good generic or sufficiently generic uh, tools, especially for the user interface. Again, I think, the, you know, the user interface is the hard part of this. Um, you know, we'll go back to that quote, you know, search is the worst usability problem in the web. It's very hard to get good widget, you know, good user interface widgets um, to figure out how to expose, um, you know, drill down options to people in a way that makes sense, that help them find what they're looking for. You know, that's the hard part. We, you know, we have great search backends available to us as open source. That's really not the problem. The problem is, um, integrating those with the front end that let the user find what they're looking for. So just to conclude, here's some random links of, um, in case you want to look for some of the past and current discussions on these topics. Um, and with that, I think uh, we'd appreciate your comments and joining the conversation. No need to clap. <laughs> Let's converse. You, you know, I love working on search if somebody pays for it. You know, that's, isn't that the key problem? That we all have, you know, little clients here and there that pay for this or that. It seems like, you know, listening, I may be the most hated person in search around because, you know, I put my name on it and I don't do anything anymore. The problem isn't, you know, that it, there's a niche. How do we collaborate and fund it? You know, is Acquia interested in, in pushing it? Can I take a crack sure. at that? Um, so repeat the question a bit. Sure. So the, the, the question is, um, let me try to simplify it and please correct me if, if I'm wrong. But, um, you know, a, a big problem is that, you know, a lot of open source is, you know, the itch to scratch. Um, so who's going to fund it, right? Uh, people would love to work on search, but, but who's actually going to buy it? Who's actually going to fund it? Um, does that accurately cover it? Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, just to be transparent, I have a saying, um, I love code, that's why I don't do it for work. <laughs> so, um, you know, all, all my contributions are in my free time. Thomas, I don't know if you're paid to work on Search API or not. Well, Google Summer of Code. Yeah, Google, so Google Summer of the Code, so part of it's funded. Um, I think right now there's, there's an interesting, uh, there's an interesting opportunity here in that we have people who are actually contributing and, and people who are uh, passionate about search and, wa and want to make it better. Um, and, you know, I think the, the big problems with core search right now are that that, that itch isn't there to scratch, right? Um, so if we can pull some of that out and we can make it smaller and we can move some of this stuff to contrib and maybe, you know, rework it to make it some sort of toolkit, um, then, you know, people will be able to contribute more readily um, without having to expend a, a lot of effort having to go through the core channels. Um, because contrib is, is a lot easier to contribute to. Um, you know, I, I couldn't be able to do the work that I did in core, um, you know, in my free time. It just wouldn't have happened. Three or four years ago, we had a search uh, uh, sprint in, in Minnesota. We, this came up back then as a problem. We didn't have, have the solution. Are there patches out there right now to, to rip out search and start the API? You know, I, I seem to hear that Thomas's fastest search was kind of, you know, uh, not a, a viable solution. 
Well, <clears throat> yeah, and I think, uh, you know, Thomas was, Thomas was great, and Thomas uh, actually, um, you know, reached out and um, started working uh, with us on Facet API. Um, so this is an example, right? We have, we have different communities. We have, you know, Core Search has a big user base. Apache Solar has a big user base. Uh, Search API has a, a very much growing user base, and uh, you know, Search with Scene API for six had you know an, an okay user base. Um, we were doing a lot of the same things. Um, so what ended up happening is we took out pieces, right? So we ended up instead of building up a core API from scratch, uh, we took out pieces of Search with Scene API, we mixed it with the the faceted Search in Apache Solar, and then uh, we kind of put it underneath as a toolkit module that that people could use. And then you know, Thomas ended up. Um, uh, showing some interest, and then he ended up contributing further to the Facet API module, removing a lot of assumptions, and now Search API is um, starting to, to move towards leveraging that. Um, so I think that's an example of, of a project which is a, a toolkit piece, um, you know, which is, is done completely in Contrib, uh, which is an enabler for, for all the other Search projects. So I think part of the, your question, Doug, was, are, are, are we going to try to remove current core search in favor of something in contrib and replace it? Is yeah, 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 I mean, there are tentacles in load and user and search, like you said, that need to be ripped out and maybe start from scratch and put something just in it. You, 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 so, you, you asked the question, should we, you know, decrease the feature set and do more of it in contrib? And I, I think I would agree with that. I think we should. But is there a patch out there? And how do we get to so, that? You're right. So I think, I mean, I think we were, coming into this trying to, you know, come up with a coherent argument. And our, I think Chris and I are in agreement that, and, you know, we talked with Jennifer and with Thomas a bit, and that probably at this point we don't want to try to invest in putting a new API in core, um, but rather we should, you know, take out the parts of core search that aren't um, broadly used, you know, because it makes it more difficult to maintain. Um, and you know, try to get it to the state where it can be maintained. Now, again, we have this question: Do we want to do we want to add anything back? You know, do we want to add something like Facet API as a feature? Um, I'm, you know, I, I I wouldn't be in favor of putting like a whole new API in that that tries to be fairly broad and and functional because um, I just think we're going to end up with the same maintenance problem. You know, the code that's there works. Um, you know, by, by minimizing a little more, we may make it even simpler to, to maintain. Um, we can improve the initial experience by changing some assumptions that aren't, those aren't big patches. So I think if we did those things, we could leave core search as it is not, not alone, but not make a radical shift, not rip it out altogether. So your proposal is really to decrease the functionality and not put an API in? Yeah. I mean, be, simply because you know, and I think Thomas maybe can talk to this more. Um, I mean, my, my impression is that trying to make an API that's very generic across different search backends is hard. And in fact, you know, I'm not sure you can be successful enough that you want it to be in core for the reason that every backend has very specific features, right? So, you know, can, do I have to, you know, keep patching core every time you know, Apache Solar comes out with a new version with new features. I mean, that it doesn't seem like that's, um, you know, the direction we want to go. Or we have some kind of, you know, plug-in that integrates with Apache Solar, that integrates with Core, or then what is Core actually doing? Right, to me, it's better for Core to come with... Is your argument, it sounds like your argument, though, is that we cannot satisfy everyone's needs, so we shouldn't make it a little bit better. I mean, can't we have an API that does better than we currently have? Well, uh, maybe. I mean, it depends what you mean better, right? So, I mean, I think there is cleanup to be done in the current API. I, I guess I'm arguing against kind of starting from scratch. Like, let's basically leave what we have and, and you, know, I, you know, marginally improving it to me sounds like a lot less work than ripping it out. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, just to add to that quickly. Um, I think that the big thing for me is, is uh, you know, not not focusing wholly on, on core search to to make it you know a full fledged API, um, just because you know we're we're seeing 
problems getting small stuff in right now. Um, so you know, making it smaller and, and make it, uh, helping it get out of the way better, um, and, and allowing that innovation to happen and contrib. Um, and once that gets tried and tested, you know, it's it's easier to innovate uh, more quickly and contrib, try things out, break things, you know, iterate again, um, and then you know maybe Drupal eight, Drupal nine comes out, <laughs> then we can start thinking about it once we have some tried and tested stuff. Yes. Yeah. Very, very eloquent. <laughs> oh. Much, much more eloquent than I could have said. Oh, all right, come up and say it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jennifer says, you know, basically to uh, the proposal that, that, that we're coming to is basically, yes, we should remove advanced search, we should remove Boolean parsing and other kind of special parsing um, and basically leave core search with a keyword search. Uh, we should make it do or queries by default rather than and, which it does right now. And um, improve uh, some of the hook, the way the hooks are invoked so that um, stemming uh, could be implemented properly in a contrib module. Uh, and basically leave, yeah, leave it more or less at that. So I somewhat simplified some fixes uh, to the API, but really actually less code and simpler code than we have now. We're about done, but yeah, do you have a question? Well, so, I mean, there's different, yeah, I mean, there's different levels of API, right? So Core Search is currently an API. Apache Solar uses it for things like displaying the tab on the search page. A few, you know, it uses the, the result templates. So there are elements of an API there that can be reused and are useful. But, I, you know, I think making it so it's a more full-fledged, um, framework for connecting to different search backends, I would say, to me, doesn't seem worth the effort to put that in core. I will about 80% agree with you. <laughs> well, that's about as good as I'm going to get from you, Larry. <laughs> Parts, yeah, I, I guess where you're coming from, I agree to a large extent, um, but the parts of core search API right now that are the actual API-ish parts, in my experience, are the ones that I have most trouble with. Um, so if you're talking about, you know, big core source get out of the way and be easier to just do your own thing, um, that's the kind of stuff I would be talking about getting rid of, is you know, search has to go up in a tab on this search slash whatever page. Uh, it's part of that core, core API and it needs to just go away entirely as part of that. Sure. So I would agree, for example, yeah, I mean, we can make simple changes. Larry is saying, like, it's aggravating that search module forces you to put a tab at a certain path. And I would agree, yes, we could probably improve on that, and that, but that's not like, to me, that's not a broad API, that's like a little bit of fiddling with that's how it does its. Module level API. Yeah, so, so I think Thomas is his turn, so, but last question while he's coming up. Uh, why are we talking about Apache Solar and forgetting about Sphinx? Uh, because not very many people use Sphinx and there's not a good integration module. So if you want to write a good integration module, I mean, more of the work has been done to integrate Apache Solar. It's e easy, fun. <laughs> and you maintain it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oops, oh. Do you need any help up here? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You can put this on your head. I was supposed to tell him that he can put this on his head and uh. don't touch anything else. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to uh, so, step out. Uh, so, while we're uh, waiting here, I'll just make my uh, email notes that's one more time. If anybody's on the hotel uh, so Wi-Fi, please get off. I think we're going to meet up the group of calling the guy. Okay. Will we be at the Springs? Yeah, so we'll be at the Springs. Okay, we'll be there. Sorry, I have to jump out halfway through.
Best catch you're going to your fault. I'll be around for lock with you. Oh, just those two, yeah. So don't get off the hotel Wi-Fi. Lunch will be here tomorrow as well as in the main building. And I think Tom's going to spread much. Oh, the lunch is better over there, though. No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lunch the is longer. Sandwiches and soup. It was just fine. Hello, I'm Thomas Seidel and I'm going to talk very shortly about basically the same stuff that Peter and Chris already told you, only from, um, well, kind of the opposite uh, direction in which they took it. So, but basically the problem is the same, or we are, this is a slightly different view on the problem. We have core search currently in Drupal 7. It's mostly a product. It also tries to be a framework, but it's not very successful at it. It has very limited scope. As um, Peter said, it's, it very much is built towards the node search currently in core and doesn't really facilitate um, very different solutions. Apache Solar module currently uses it, as I said, only for the theming part and for the basic UI, that there's a tab and a form field. But it really doesn't um, take much of a search module's hand. Search API, it doesn't use it at all. And so it's in its framework part, not very very useful is mostly just a product and there has been a proposed solution which has been uh, as linked by Peter uh, several times now on groups.drupal.org and it's to bring a real flexible search framework into core which could do all the things really flexible so that it could really cater to all different sorts of advanced search modules which want to take yeah, um, stemming and highlighting plugins and whatever, different backends, different indexing mechanisms, different data sources, index all entities and, page and pages and whatever. It should clearly separate the basic framework and then the backend implementations. Currently, we would have a database backend in core, which does what this core search does now, but only as one possible backend implementation. And then there would be the extra features, the default plugins provided with core, so um, that you have. Uh, case independent case uh, insensitive search and HTML filtering and such things the admin UI could also be um, separated from the framework so that a simple user who just wants to search to work could activate the framework the backend and uh, part five of this core search the product which which would offer some basic defaults, which would ensure basically the same core search as now, only as an implementation and configuration of this whole flexible search framework. And this would then leave the implementation of, of these parts to um, well, contract modules, which could then replace er all these things with um, advanced solutions. You, you could then ha have a real Apache Solar module, which builds on core search and really just replaces the backend and maybe adds then backend the backend dependent features to leverage all of Solar's um, capabilities. Um, you would, of course, also have to make all these steps pluggable, not just we are hooks, but we, we are uh, real plugins. You would have a plugin for data retrieval so that you cannot just get 
nodes and here there are, but build the data from different ways, which would, for example, also um, be a, a page, a page search, which could just retrieve pages as they are rendered. Then the pre-processing would of course be pluggable, the indexing part, how the data is really indexed. Of course, then the backend, uh, search query pre-processing at the search time. This, uh, the actual searching would, of course, also be on the, in the backend and pluggable there, maybe. And how the search results are post-processed so that you could have a highlight lighter plugin and maybe other steps. And all the, this pluggable in core um, will ensure very great flexibility and uh, here we come to the advantages of this. Of course, there's a, now uh, there would be a common standard, which all such advanced search modules could build on in country. Uh, code duplication would be reduced, of course, as um, in the really backend independent functionality <laughs> uh, could would just be implemented there and wouldn't have to be duplicated into all these. Um, uh, other modules, and of course another very um, another large plus would be that if a user comes and does a simple search on the site and later wants to upgrade, he really can easily do that and keep all his configurations like they are, but just switch out the backend to Apache Solar and. Oops, he has now a much faster and more accurate search. However, as um, Pete and Chris already um, illustrated, there are several disadvantages of bringing a full-fledged uh, framework into core. One of the points would be that there are as I said, if you separate all these things clearly, you would have three to five additional modules just for search in core. And of course, the whole API, which would be very complex, and do we really need another complex API in core? It's something, something to think about. And of course, we also would have more overhead for basic search solutions if a user just wants a basic uh, um, keyword search, like currently. In the background, there would be all stuff, all stuff going on, which would really be unnecessary for his use case. And then, of course, what um, Chris and Peter also said, maintaining something in core is way more complicated than maintaining it contrib. So putting such a framework into core would really um, multiply the maintenance effort by quite a bit, I think. And what, he, what they also said, and I forgot here, is of course that this API would then re have to be really good because if you later um, find out, well, there is some cases missing, then you have a, 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 a small broken AP, uh, in a small case broken API in core, and maybe you would have to um, go and make another contrib API after all, which would of course eliminate all the advantages. So the rather uh, lame conclusion is that I think <laughs> Pete and Chris were right. <laughs> Forget everything I just said. <laughs> Doing this in country, um, after all, I think is the right thing as really if the API is good enough, it will be used even if it's in country, only in, these, in the cases where you don't need it, which would be, which where it would be, uh, where it would be, where it would be redundant, anyways. And as um, Pete and Chris already said, it might even be worth the effort to prune some of the 
um, attempts at being a framework from the from core search, prune some features that are currently very used, and just fix some of the structures. But basically, just leave it as it is now and let it step aside um, gracefully to let a cron tip do a better job at it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> By nine. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, these are three questions, I think. Um, oh. oh, I don't think I remember that. Okay, I'm here. The question is um, whether he, whether I don't think that um, Search API is already mature enough to be in core or that it could be mature enough in Drupal 9 or, um, as Jennifer put it, if I want it in core. Okay, so um, first off, do I think it's mature enough now? That's a complicated question. It hasn't been um, used for that long. I think that we can tell. I'm pretty, um, pretty content at its current level. And I think if uh, for Drupal 8 we could uh, do some API rewrites, um, I, I do think that it could be, um, that it would be uh, good enough for core, but the, pr the f big problem I'm seeing is the maintenance effort and that we have to be really sure that it's catering to all needs of advanced, uh, of other search modules. And I don't know if we can get enough usage in Drupal 7 on time for it to go completely in the Drupal 8. In Drupal 9, when, uh, when it has been widely used in Drupal 7 and Drupal 8, maybe we can really get it into core, but I think that's uh, now a discussion for, well, in two or three years. When everyone then says, yeah, search API, woo, then yeah, of course you can get into core, but I think the, some of the problems remain. I think that's a good analogy um, that with the CCK module and fields. And if, of course, if Search API turns out to be the second most used contrib module, then yeah, please put it into core. Uh, but um, yeah, I think um, some of the problems would remain even if it were so popular, but of course, as said, if it turns out to be mature and used and uh, popular enough, then of course we could make the effort, but it would of course be an additional effort and there would have to be enough people involved to really make it viable. So uh, I don't end up hacking together a, a whole curse core search module. You don't hurt your own miles? <laughs> And uh, no, I don't have the accent. <laughs> and yeah, so for Drupal 8, I just don't think it's viable. Also with the whole 
four to six search modules in core, it would be kind of a slap in the face to people saying small core, yeah, so yeah, here's another five modules. Um, I, yeah, for Drupal 8, I don't think it would be viable, but for Drupal 9, who knows? Uh, no. Um, of course, we could have uh, just. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Um, the question is if it would be really three to five modules, if we couldn't have one module with the API and the other in Contrib. Right? Um, no, that wouldn't be possible. Or it would be possible, but then we wouldn't have a uh, core search the product in. <coughs> Drupal, and I don't think we can afford that. We have to ship Drupal with ca some kind of search solution. Or we could say, use Google's, Google Site Search, I don't care. But I don't think um, that would be a good option, and so we, needed, we would need the framework module, the backend module, so we have anything to store the data on, and uh, the, the thing providing the search, so a search page module which would add the search page for the users. And these would really be three modules already, then maybe uh, if you want to get, put that into another module, the extra features like a case insensitive search and HTML filter which are really needed for a core search product if it is to work correctly. And the admin UI could, of course, live in country, but that would still be four modules, so three additional ones. Thanks. Three by my account, but I don't think it's a mathematical problem. So you would put the admin UI into the framework module. Oh. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's what. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we could do that, but it's. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. So the admin UI is very simple. You just you need the, and it'd be nice to have the checkboxes for which entity is to index. Ah, uh, well, with the uh, full-fledged framework, the. Hmm? Yeah, but if you have a simple UI just for core, it would have to be a module after all because because otherwise you can't disable it if you have a proper <laughs> admin UI. So then you ha you'd have to have a admin UI module in core after all and 
but of course you could do that and just have a very simple um, uh, um, yeah, form for check with checkboxes. So, so another thing about the complexity of that, and, and I'm going to pick up my area here. Well, the question, um, so for example, for uh, the new database layer, uh -huh. there was an assertion that you needed basically three database backends to validate uh, a generic API. Uh, would you agree with search that if you have a generic search framework, core would basically have to be tested against three search backends to, to validate the API? Um, the question is that if with a search framework in core with pluggable backends, if we wouldn't have to test against all these backends to um, really verify that this is working, and I guess that would be another problem because, yeah, really, without implementations, you couldn't be sure. And with, te with test coverage, you really would have to do that. And if you only have one um, backend implementation in core, this would really not be possible. So would, would be an argument pro for probably another argument for that. Yeah, Larry? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, if, if the API we put into core had already been vetted into trip against three implementations, then we may not need to put all three implementations into core. But if we then start screwing around with the API and rewriting it as we usually do when something goes into core, then we would still need to vet it against three different implementations. So we need a database, yeah, like a database backend, a something with a schema backend, like solar, and something without a schema like, like Elasticsearch. Because those are three very different approaches. And but if we, yeah. yes, but, but, but we can't know that the core I, implementation is yeah, but, right. I mean, informally, you get yeah. patch, you could say, well, it's at least two modules. Yeah, so it's, it's, we have to develop those core contrib implementations in parallel with the right. core version and the core API. Yeah. And, uh, and so test coverage would be. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually one of the bigger arguments, I think, for doing the robust framework in contrib instead of in core, um, and just letting core be a, you know, if you just have a blog, you can use this implementation. Um, because, yeah, doing three full implementations in core would be a nightmare. Of course. <laughs> and then it would even be useless to have a solar implementation in core when it says, hey, if you want to use that, you have to download something else after all, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, thanks all.